In this video, let's create a Chrome extension for developers to have access to all usable websites. Create a new folder. Open a coding IDE. Let's add the folder we created to Visual Studio Code. Create a new file named index.html. Create another file named script.js. Style.css. Finally create manifest.json. Open HTML file. If you type exclamation mark and press tab the default HTML code will be generated in Visual Studio Code. Type a title. Start the body with a div. Create a h2 inside the div and type the title. Create a unorder list containing list items. Add anchors with href tag containing github link. Type target underscore blank to open the link in a new tab. Add another list item with link to Google Developer Console. Add Google Developers link. Add Stack Overflow link. Add link to black box and a name to display. And finally we are adding link to po.com with title po. A trick, press and hold alt key and add cursors to every line you want to add same text and type. Open style.css. Add style for an order list. Set list style to none. Add style to anchors inside list items. Set the width to 100, height to 30 pixels. Set display to block. Set text align to center. Padding top to 10 pixels. Color to white. Background color to gray. Set margin left as auto. Add another style for the ID pop-up, and set the width to 400 pixels. In HTML file link the style file. In the script.js file, write code for the onClick event that can be using APIs, or anything needed. In HTML file add the script.js file inside body tag. Open the manifest.json file. Add manifest version, third. Set name to the name of the extension. Set version to the version of extension. Add action with default pop-up set to HTML file and default title set to a title. Add permissions list containing tabs and scripting elements. Add host permissions and set it to allow all links with HTTPS protocol. Add content scripts list with matches set to the URL of API, or allow all URLs. And set JS to the script.js file. Add margin bottom 10 pixels. As we see it is not an ID instead it is a class change it to div.popup. Change text align to left. Add 5 pixels padding from left side, and change the width to 125 pixels. Minimize Visual Studio Code. Open Chrome. Type Chrome colon double slash extensions. Turn the developer mode on. Click on Load Unpacked, and select the folder. Here our extension is added successfully to Chrome. Click on the extension. As we see we have access to all developer tools and websites. Click on any of them to go to the website. Click on Remove to remove extension from Chrome. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell icon, and be a part of the journey.